Dawn Baldwin died in hospital in January 2012 after collapsing at her Wembley Downs home. She'd been poisoned with morphine. I found her to be a wonderful, caring, lovely person. She was generous. Her killer was her granddaughter, Elaine Sterniolo, who'd put morphine tablets not prescribed to the 91-year-old in her medication pack. The court heard Sterniolo hated the elderly woman, claiming she mistreated her and her mother. Dawn was lovely in, private, in public, but abusive mentally, physically and emotionally. Sterniolo got away with her crime until 2018. That's when police arrested her in a suburban supermarket car park after receiving a tip she'd confessed to at least three people. The mother of two stood trial in the Supreme Court earlier this year. She denied having anything to do with her grandmother's death, but a jury found her guilty. We've got work to do. We've you'll got be, work to do. Healing. That's... Of course, of course. Justice Bruno Fianaka described the crime as morally inexcusable, saying Sterniolo had taken upon herself to decide when her grandmother's life should end, when she still had life to live. Ms Baldwin's friends say her death was a tragedy, particularly because of the unfair way she was portrayed in court. There are people that still love her. Like, I, I loved her in the end because she, there was something about her, her warmth. Sterney Olo has been in custody since her arrest. With time already served, she will become eligible for parole in 2038. Joanna Menard, ABC News.